Hey guys, it's uh, Scott here from JustGetOutMore.com and thanks for joining me. Today I wanted to show you a really easy way to keep track of your hikes in 2018 uh, by using Google Forms. It's a free way, it's simple. Um, you can end up with a form that you can launch right from the home screen of your phone. Um, use a really simple interface to enter the data. So you can do it right when you get back to the car after a hike at the trailhead. And uh, best of all, you can, at the end of the year, tally all of it up, all of the details, how many hikes you did, uh, maybe the elevation, cumulative elevation gain you did, how many miles you hiked, uh, all the details, uh, because all of the data from these forms gets dumped into a spreadsheet. So it's really easy to analyze at the end of the year or throughout the year, whenever you want to take a look at it. So we are going to keep it really simple today, uh, but you should check out the blog post for a lot more details, more suggestions on fields that you might want to use, and other tips uh, for how to make the most of this. So with that said, let's get started. Um, we'll head up to the address bar and we'll type in forms.google.com. And if you're logged in to your Google account, this will transfer you to this page. Click blank, start a new form up at the top. And here we go, a new blank form. So let's uh, again keep this easy. Maybe we'll name it hiking log. Type there in the title, hit enter. You can see all the changes are saved immediately in Drive. So this is uh, going to be a pretty easy task. You see it says untitled form at the top left here. If you just click on that after you type in the title, it automatically transfers the title up there. That's useful. Now you can search in Drive for hiking log to find this in the future. Form description we're gonna hold off on for a few minutes. So we'll get started right with the first question. Uh, now, the again, there's several different fields that you could use here, um, questions to be asked on the form. I'm just gonna do five right now, but again, there are quite a few more. So you might wanna think about what things you'd like to keep track of. The first one we're gonna do though is type in a date. And as you can see, the form input changes to date, and that makes it particularly easy. Um, it's also already set up for month, day, year. That's my preferred input style, so we'll keep that. Now, if you head over to the right here, you'll see this uh, add question button, and there are some other options here. Uh, we're not gonna get into that today, but if you click the add question button, well, lo and behold, it pops up another question. So we'll start this question uh, with trail name because we probably want to keep track of that and as you can see the form input changed to short answer that's exactly what we want if you click here you can actually change the order of the um, questions by just dragging and we'll do a couple more let's see mileage that's probably an important one to keep track of now you can see it, it auto guessed uh, short answer, but it actually went one step further and it added a required response validation that this input be a number, and that, which is exactly what we want. We want this to be a number, whether that's 6.7 miles or 3.2, whatever it is. Um, so we will keep that, head on to the next one. Um, now, one thing that you might want to keep track of is whether or not this is a trail you've ever hiked before. It's particularly useful if you're doing something like the 52 Hike Challenge, where this form is really useful just for keeping track of the 52 hikes you, you might be doing for that. Uh, but if you're doing one of the options where each hike is a different trail, so you're actually doing 52 different trails in a year, this might be something to keep track of. Now, um, it listed as multiple choice, that's actually what we want, and we'll put yes for new trail. And uh, we don't really need a no because in the spreadsheet, this will either be yes or it'll be blank. So we can just keep it easy that way. And then the last field we'll use here, the last question will be um, just uh, maybe just notes. Oops, if I can type it right. And we'll keep that in a paragraph form. Notes might be a, a spot where you put any other um, piece of information that you want to remember from either the hike itself or something somebody said while you're there or anything about the experience. So this is an easy way of kind of capturing all of those pieces 
of information. Now, again, there are quite a few other fields that you could do. Um, elevation gain is a pretty, pretty common one. Maybe how long it took you to do the hike. Who did you hike with? Uh, did you bring a dog? Uh, did you record a GPS track? Um, or maybe put a spot for links to uh, photos associated with a hike or maybe a blog post or something. Um, those and more suggestions are on the blog, my blog post at Just Get Out More. You can make sure to look in the comment uh, in the details here on this video for that link. Now that we have all the questions done the way that we want, and I, again, we'll come back to the form description, let's make it, uh, let's change what it looks like. If you click the color palette up there, you can see there are a bunch of different colors here. You can also click that button in the bottom right. It pulls up several different themes, um, including uh, several kind of hiking related ones. And you can also upload your own photo or um, choose a photo from your uh, Google photo album. This looks kind of cool. We'll select that. And as you can see, it pops up here. Now, on my own personal one, I actually just use a uh, regular plain color because uh, it loads a little bit faster on my phone. I don't have to wait for this video to load, so uh, you might want to keep that in mind when you're doing the um, design. But uh, once you have it the way that you want, uh, head on over to the Responses tab here, and you'll see no responses, uh, and you are accepting responses. Well, uh, that is right. If you entered a, a, an item or response on the, on the Google form on your phone, you would see you know one response, 10 responses, whatever. You'd also have to click through to see each submission. There kind of be different each page is a different submission. so you have to kind of click through. That's not really the format that we wanted in. We actually want it in a spreadsheet, and that's what this green button over here is for. So if you click that, it will create a spreadsheet. Now this is creating a Google sheet in your Google Drive uh, so you can have ready, uh, ready access to it. Uh, you want to create a new spreadsheet. You could change the name if you want. We'll just leave it like that. And there you go. It opens it up. And you can see we have the fields that we entered at, along with a new field uh, called timestamp. And that is just the timestamp of exactly when you submitted this form. So let's uh, head on over to the share button and we're going to quickly snag the link. We'll copy that and then we'll head on over to the form again and we'll go back to the question design. And if we click there and paste in that, um, this is the link now to the results. And that means when you are um, actually using the form, you'll have the link to your entire hiking log, all the entries that you've made, that can be useful, so I like putting that there. Otherwise, you can find it in your drive, you just have to search for it and maybe open up uh, the Sheets app on your phone or something else, so but I like having that, that link right there. Now, a few other options, we're gonna skip most of those, you can look at them in the blog post. Next thing we're gonna do is hit the Send button, and this is for getting the actual link to the form that you will be using. Um, not the design, which is the URL we've been on, but the actual form itself. We'll snag that. And we'll open up a new tab so you can take a look at what it looks like. So there you go. Got the form, you can enter the date, you can um, add your notes, you can say whether or not it's a new trail. Of course, you could add any of those other fields. Uh, but basically the next step here is to get this URL to your phone. Uh, you can bookmark it on your computer if you want here. Once you get it to your phone, you can add it as a home screen icon, which I find to be incredibly useful, and I strongly recommend that you do that. If you are in the form and you want to change um, how it is set up, you can edit it using the button over here, and uh, otherwise um, have at it. Uh, I hope this has been useful for you. And again, check out the, the associated blog post uh, to this video for a few more details and uh, some more detailed instructions of how to um, actually create that home screen icon. If you're not sure how to do that, you can find the link there. Otherwise, uh, thanks again. And uh, again, this has been Scott at justgetoutmore.com. See you on the trail. Cheers.